जय हिंद एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल मेट टॉक्स विथ रोशनी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द टॉपिक ट्यूबिकलोसिस एंड द इंपॉर्टेंस व्हाई ट्यूबिकलोसिस डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड एवरी ईयर ऑन 24th ऑफ मार्च द थीम फॉर 2021 इज बेस्ड ऑन द टाइम लिमिट सिंस आवर वर्ल्ड इज रनिंग आउट ऑफ टाइम to act on the commitments to end tuberculosis based on that who has put up the theme that is the clock is ticking to reach the tb target by 2022 the history of tuberculosis Robert Koch first distinguished Mycobacterium tuberculosis from Mycobacterium bovis. Till date, BCG, that is Bacillus calmatigurin vaccine, remains the only effective vaccine against tuberculosis. The BCG vaccine was first used in humans in 1921. In 1928, it was adopted by the Health Committee of League of Nations. BCG and its efficacy you might be thinking that as we are born and as children are born BCG is immediately given to everyone then how come there are so many tuberculosis patients all around the world so your answer is BCG has its greatest efficacy in preventing miliary tuberculosis and tuberculosis meningitis up to 50 to 80 percentage while the protective efficacy against pulmonary tuberculosis is only around 50% yeah it's so sad bcg how is bcg prepared and what are the doses and the route bcg vaccine is a live freeze dried vaccine derived from the attenuated strain of mycobacterium bovis the dose of which is 0.05 ml for newborns up to 1 month of age while 0.1 ml for the older children up to 1 year as for the administration it is administered intradermally on the left upper arm a papule develop at the site of vaccination 2 to 3 weeks later which increases in size up to 4 to 8 mm in diameter within 5 weeks now what to do if a scar does not exist the answer is right at the end of the video so keep on tuning with the video let us discuss about the contraindications yeah there are certain contraindications where you cannot administer bcg vaccines for example hypogamma globulinemia that is an altered immunity response leukemia generalized malignancy hiv infections radiotherapy immunosuppressive therapy who the world health organization's opinion on world tb day is especially in the context of covid-19 pandemic who urges countries to tackle health inequities to ensure health for all providing uninterrupted services for tb patients including administration of the dots att without facing any kind of barriers in a safe environment at the right right place and at the right time providing systematic screening to all the tb patients all around and encourages everyone to take active participation in ending tb including you and me the community the businesses the governments and the society who also supports awareness and provides a communication package to support awareness especially on this world tb day end up with think a bit questions the first one can hiv infected children receive bcg vaccination hiv infected children should not receive bcg vaccination until anti retroviral therapy has been started and child is clinically well and immunologically stable The next question what to do if there is no bcg scar 
the answer is no need to revaccinate as scar is neither the only indicator of successful vaccination and nor the marker of protection against tuberculosis. Move on with what is the most common screening test for tuberculosis. The primary screening method for tuberculosis infection is sputum for AFB that is acid fast bacilli and followed by an in vitro blood test based on IGRA. How long does tuberculosis bacteria stay in air? TB bacteria can exist in the air for up to six hours during which time another person may inhale it. To stay protected from tuberculosis, the dietary recommendations are high protein and high calorie diet. For the non-vegetarians, meat, fish, poultry and eggs and paneer for non-veg and milk products, green leafy vegetables, fresh fruits, dry fruits and milk, cereals and pulses and of course never miss a medication. Spread love and not tuberculosis. As you watch my videos, make sure to create awareness amidst your friends and family. Share, share this video as much as you can and provide information to your family members. And yes, if you want to know more about this topic, you can look down on the description below. And if you want me to discuss on any other topics, please look forward and comment on the section below healthy and stay safe from this disease and do not underestimate the importance of using a mask. It will not only protect you from tuberculosis, COVID-19, it will also keep you safe from any kind of respiratory illnesses and the harmful rays of the sun. Let's make this world a better and healthy place to live. Thanks for watching. If you have liked my video, please subscribe and share. Thank you. Yippee!